Hi everyone, I'm Jan-Erik Vitala, I'm the founder of Axopar. Why I'm sending you this message is that you are one of the 20 that pre-bought the Axopar 45 in 2020. I just wanted to make you this short video to show how grateful we are that you have stuck by your orders. We know that it's been a troubling time for us to produce boats in this world pandemic and also in the situation of uh, the war going on in Ukraine. But we are truly appreciative of your support to us. And also it warms our hearts that you are so eagerly awaiting to get your boats. So as greeting, I just thought that I will give you this walkthrough of the Axopar 45 cross cabin that we just launched here in sunny Palma. So uh, let's give you a bit of a teaser on what we have on store for you. So uh, I think we should just start and show you a few functionalities we have on board. So if Jarko can follow me with the camera, we will just show you a few things. I can actually start with the bow area. So we have done two separate parts on our front locker and we have now an electric windlass that you can electrically fold out or in. So a cool new feature that we haven't had on any Axopars in the past. It's now on the 45 as an option. This boat is now with the Mediterranean seating. So we're having the anchor locker uh, with a cushion. We're having the extended sun bathing or sun, sun tanning area. You have also the possibility to have the cushions on top of the gullwing doors. Uh, now we have removed them. We were just driving some uh, fast action shots with the boat. So these are now removed, uh, but really an elegant extension of the sunbathing possibilities, even on an enclosed boat. Uh, I will open up one of the gullwing doors, but I will, we won't be getting in, but I will see if Jarko can get, catch a glimpse of the interior through the door gap. And then I'm going, going to go in from the inside and greet you inside. So the front cabin is, of course, one of the biggest things and the biggest changes you will see on the Axopar 45 compared to the 37. Huge spaces all around. And in uh, all, we wanted to create a situation where you can actually be very leisurely lounging in the front cabin. Uh, but you also have the possibility to easily extend the sofa into a bed. So whatever lounge seating positions you would want to do, uh, you can select this to your own preference. And just to make the bed, once you want to go to sleep, very simply take down the cushion and voila, you have the bed. So this boat will be filled with a lot of functionalities and a lot of, a lot of unique features that you haven't seen on a 45 foot boat. Actually, to be brutally honest, uh, the, we are the first ever to do a 45 foot boat with outboard powered engines that is a fully enclosed cabin boat. So this is the first only in the world. So we have the gullwing doors on the both sides. So how can we access them when we have a full size L sofa? Well, we actually made it so that to your preference, you can have the cushions folded out, or if you want to have a big walkway, you just select the steps and you open up. And you can choose from what side you want to go on. So it's uh, pretty much a lot of new features that we haven't had on the Axopars before, which are unique and new to the 45. Let's go ahead. Um, so we had the full standing height in the cabin. We have the full standing height inside of the toilet. We have a small wash basin and we have a place for a microwave underneath here. But uh, I think the most interesting magic will be seen once we get inside of the cabin. So let's go and have a look inside. So inside the cabin, you will be greeted with a new layout that we actually haven't done on any Axopars before. You still feel yourself at home behind the steering wheel, so you're still driving the boat standing up. 
with a real good supportive seat. But at the same time, the seating position has been improved a bit, so you have a good visual visibility outside, even driving while seating. You can see three persons in the front, so if I just close this for fun, <coughs> you will also see how we cleaned up the dashboard. So we incorporated all the joysticks for the bow thruster and for the trim tabs into the multifunction steering wheel, as well as the audio controls. This means that we could then leave out all the joysticks from the dashboard and create a very clean layout. So the three helm seats, these of course rotate and these turn around, but now we come to the real unique parts. So three persons seating facing forward, three persons leaning on the wet bar facing forward. And the one thing that is really unique with the 45 is that we have a wet bar that is actually length adjustable and we have a table that is length adjustable. So now this is a bit of a 50-50 adjustment. So if I want to make the table more cozy for our guests in the back, I just adjust the table back a bit. I can also turn the tables around to any position I want. So very convenient when you want to sit cozy. I can also move the wet bar so that I create more space in here between and so that I create a more sociable seating in the back. So now you can sit easily a lot of people behind the table. And now I have better access to trash cans, uh, drawers, everything around. But now we come to the really unique part. So I'm going to close this door. We're on a 45 foot cabin boat. So what can we do to improve the outdoor feeling inside of a cabin like we did with the Galwing doors? Well, we did on the 45 openable back doors on both sides. So both sides open up. I will open up the other side as well. So to really let the air inside, really a cool and unique feature. Additional to this, of course, we have now two sun top roofs, so you can open up the back part separate or the front part separate to really let in all the sun. So already now, when you look at us here, we get the air inside and we get the outdoors inside on the cabin. And whether you want, you can close the sunroof to get you that uh, shelter from the sun, but you will still get the air and the breeze into your face. But also, then, additionally, unique on the 45 is that we made balcony doors. And these are not the traditional balcony doors you see on so many competitors. These are made with a twist. So when you extend them, they don't extend from the floor, which we believe to be completely unsafe, because if you don't have huge guardrails, this is going to create a sensation of unsafety on board. So we actually made a balcony door that is high so that when you're moving around and even if the boat is uh, uh, in the wakes uh, turning a bit you will always feel safe and supported walking around and now you can also utilize this as a seating area to just demonstrate the length of it you can also have this as a small sunbathing area so in that sense cool features on both sides and then with these open you will have a complete open air sensation on the boat. I will open up the other side as well. So when we are talking about new innovations, new solutions on board, I would say this is a pretty cool feature to have. This is standard on all 45s. This will of course be the same feature also on the open sun top boats. And, and all the other models that follow with the open layout. All in all, I can tell you a bit about the boat. So let's say we could actually start driving the boat a bit. So if we go ahead and let's take this boat for a small sea trial, I will just close the balconies and then we will give you a small idea of how the boat is to drive. <coughs> There will be a lot of features or sensations that you know from the 37 already. 
So if you have an Oxopar 37 going behind the steering wheel, oh, going behind the steering wheel, sorry, I need to close the galving doors. So going behind the steering wheel and driving the 45 will actually feel very close to driving the 37. So if you're used to drive a 37, even if this is physically by mass vastly bigger boat, how it handles and how it reacts to throttle inputs and steering inputs makes you feel like you're still on a 37, almost. So let's take it out of Skyhook and let's go for a ride. Um, the same thing we did with the Oxopar 45, like we have with the 37, so we have a very vast panoramic view outside of the boat. So that no matter where you're looking, you always have a clear visual reference to your surroundings. But also for all the guests on board, you have a very good view and overview over the boat. But now for the fun part. So we have some swimmers in front of us, so we're going to be taking care of them. But other than that, let's go. So I will show you a few things that are pretty unique for the 45. So one thing is that taking the boat up on plane, and this is, I have never experienced this on any boat ever before, is that the planing threshold for the boat is absolutely non-existent. So we're doing now seven knots and I will gradually s speed up the boat, but I won't be pushing the boat full to throttle. So I will be driving and stopping somewhere around 11 or 12 knots. So we're doing now 11 knots and you don't see any bow rise whatsoever. And just pushing the throttle a bit more, but not much, just to speed the boat up to usually one of the worst speeds you can do, which is 13 knots, you still have no bow rise. You still don't see me driving the boat. You still don't see me correcting the boat. The boat still keeps a straight heading. 13 knots. And then after you just gently apply some more throttle, at some point you will be on the planing speed and your boat is already on planing around 15 knots. Which is really unique with the boat also is the window for fuel economy. So with this boat, you can select more or less have almost identical liters per nautical mile. So that is also a very unique feature that enables you to select different driving speeds according to uh, conditions or to your liking, but you always know that you have the best fuel economy. Just to give you an idea of the fuel economy right now, so we have 24 knots of speed and we are doing 3.9 in the fuel economy range right now. So very good fuel economy all across. And let we speed up to let's say uh, around 30, just to showcase you the same. 27, 28, 29. And then we will just let the boat settle for a while. And we will see what the fuel economy gauge is gonna stand when we now are at 30, around 30 knots. And now the fuel economy starts to settle down at around the same 3.9, 4.0. So really spectacular. So for our US customers, this means for you less than one gallon per, per mile. What else can I tell you? Well, it's an Oxopar, of course. So it still needs to handle like an Oxopar. It's a 45 footer, very confident in the water, very stable. Again, with the full panoramic view from the helm, you feel safe and confident behind the steering wheel. But also, what this boat really can do is also the same well-known Oxopar turning experience. So, wherever this, uh, whatever, let's say, speeds you're driving, so we're doing now 25, 26 knots, the boat always will feel nimble and agile and respond straight uh, to your input as the captain very safe, very undramatic, but most of all fun. And if we speed it up a bit more, it's still gonna remain the same playful Axobar 
as we are, have done with the 28s and the 37s. So now we're doing 35 knots. And I'm just going to be turning again, and this time a bit harder. And it just sticks, and it just feels like a 37. So this was when I was telling you about the sensation of driving this boat. You are not intimidated by its size. Actually, this is pretty playful boat to drive. So, again, I thank you for your patience and uh, sticking by and behind your orders. We're really trying to push the production and really pushing to get the boats out and made on time. But the situation today is still that we are struggling with raw material. Prices surging, we're struggling with raw materials, uh, unavailability of them. This is a situation the boating industry has never ever been faced with in the past. But um, I just wanted to send you this video as a greeting and I hope to see you on the water.